scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Now hear me. For those of you who have listened to my recent teachings, I've been heralding, sir, the Lord revealed to me that one of the graces that is being restored to the body of Christ is the healing mantle. I know we may have seen pockets of healing, but it looked like when a generation of fathers left, it looked like a, there, there was a gap in the healing ministry and just a few people here and there and everywhere I have traveled there has been a clarion call mantles don't leave the earth these mantles are still on earth and even in this place tonight I know there is someone maybe not everybody I want to stretch my hands fire is coming on certain people right now it's a healing mantle for the end time father where are they I decree and declare receive that grace right now men and women I ignite you with that fire of healing please don't be tired we're wrapping up we're wrapping up please hold and bring for me two people right now one gentleman and one lady they will begin to run by the anointing hold them so they don't injure themselves and bring them out we have not come to you with cunningly devised fables. There is a pastor that is watching. The Lord is revealing to me there is a pastor. You are in Lagos here. You pastor a ministry. You are an overseer. You are watching and you have been crying for this healing mantle. This is what God is revealing to me. And, and it's not just for self-aggrandizement. In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May that grace rest upon you now. Now hear me, please. Please listen. There's a reason why I ask that these people come out. Bring a lady for me right now who is going to shout a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Please bring her out. This is by the Spirit. A very loud shout. Bring her out. Now listen please. Hear me. When the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon your life, you will never, never, never be ordinary. There are many of us mothers, fathers, young people hear me fountain of life there is a dimension of grace that god wants to deposit even concerning the new that he's doing in this church i'm telling you this by prophecy because i sense in my spirit that much prayer has been going on in this church there is a season ending in this church and a new season beginning hear what i'm telling you i'm speaking this to you by the spirit of god there is a season ending and it is the ministry of prayer and intercession that is going to usher in the new season. I'm telling you this by the spirit of God. 
from the choir to all the departments God will start sharing it in the hearts of people you will see young men rise with fire people of power and grace hallelujah praise the name of the Lord please can you spare me five more minutes hallelujah five more minutes who is I'm hearing the name Lacon Lacon come your life is about to change hello Madonna hello Madonna ladies and gentlemen sadly and unfortunately I know that the prophetic and the apostolic in parts of this nation and around the world has been abused with all kinds of things please make no mistake to think everybody is like everybody there are people who have been forged from the furnace of affliction there are people who have worked with God and the price they gave for all of God is all of themselves are we together now I'm saying this so you do not think when you see a manifestation of power, miracles, you just think everybody know. There are people who love God sincerely. What do you do, my friend? Huh? This man, what do you do? I don't have a job at the moment. I want to pray for you because you are a, a, a mighty savior. Listen, God is going to use you for the sake of your family. You love the Lord sincerely. But I'm going to pray for you because I'm seeing all kinds of satanic manifestations around your life. Please just let me five minutes. There are two things I need to do by the Spirit before I step out of this place. My friend, can I pray for you? Who is Victoria? Victoria. I'm hearing a name, Victoria. Victoria. Is there someone like that? Please make sure you don't tell lies. We're serious people here. Hallelujah. Hmm. I know the lion. I know the lamb. I believe in the lion. I believe in the lamb. And I will follow the lion. I follow the land. I know the land. Something is happening to two of you. Two of you that came out here. There is an anointing that is coming upon you. And that oppression. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty. My friend look at me. Don't cry. God sent you here. Look at me. I'm speaking to you by the spirit remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old go and write it may june july these three months god will change your life in a way that will surprise you <laughs> hallelujah there is someone here please don't come out so it doesn't embarrass you you are owing you are, you are owing serious money and the way it is now it is only the prophetic that can help you you are owing money that is depressing you You've been having issues even with your wife from what God is showing me. But in the name of Jesus, by reason of this conference, we stand as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ and we declare, he said, alas, master, for it was borrowed. And he said, where fell it? I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that situation now. Taking the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, my Oh, that will be someone's song in the spirit. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray for you. 
the Bible says blotting out every handwriting please listen and I'm saying this with every sense of responsibility sir as I came in and I sat down here you notice I just sat quietly here because there is a way God reveals things to me as soon as I that door was open I was hearing the sounds of chains and when I hear listen when I hear the sounds of chains it just is, is a prophetic way of showing me that there are destinies here that have been tied by reasons that you may not know why you are doing all you are doing. The Bible said they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I'm about to pray right now. If God be God, I come by this mantle and by the spirit of the living God. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus and fire will come upon you. Everything that is not of God, it must give way. Are you ready, fountain of life? At the count of three, one, two, three, shout Jesus. I declare be free now. Be free now. I I break you free from every ordinance of darkness. I release. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Help them please. Blotting out every handwriting. Yokes of witchcraft and ancestry and bloodline be broken now. be broken hallelujah please don't be embarrassed i'm seeing a woman here you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb this is what god is showing me i can i'm, I'm seeing the number four like four years you are trusting god who is that make sure you are married come Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice and say, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, in this church you will celebrate children in the mighty name of Jesus. Those trusting the Lord, can I pray for them, sir? In the name of Jesus. The power of God is coming on one of you, one of you who came out here. I just saw it now in a vision. Right now as I speak, I'm, I just saw fire coming on one of you who is standing in for uh, fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus I don't care what the medical situation is I want to pray for you I'm seeing two of you I'm seeing like chains just around your stomach I declare and declare right now every demonic thing that has tied you here at fountain of life at this word explosion be released now be released now be released now release them now help them please release them now I cost that spirit release them now in the name of Jesus release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost release them now in the name of Jesus hear me as Eli prophesied to Hannah as Elisha prophesied to the woman in Shunem I speak to you according to the time of life return with your miracle children Hallelujah. If you are trusting God for healing, this will be the last thing I'll do for sake of time. Please, I want you to lay your hand wherever you are trusting God for. If you have never believed in a miracle in your, in your life, give God a chance this once. Miracles are not fake. Mm -mm. I'm a product of the healing power of Jesus. I wish I had time, I would have told you my own situation. Sometimes one of the ways God prepares you to be a blessing is to give you an opportunity to pass through the afflictions you'll be, dis you'll be helping people from. 
so that you can have the compassion to minister to them. There is a woman here, you are already pregnant. I need to pray for you. I'm seeing a report that is not good. I'm not a prophet of doom. You are already pregnant. I'm seeing pregnancy. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Anything that wants to destroy your life and that of your baby. Out of her now. Out. In the name of Jesus. Let that be the end of it. For the Bible says, now the Lord is that spirit. Please lay your hands. I want to pray. We may not have the time to take testimonies, but do feel free to testify during the conference. And for those of you who are watching across the nations of the earth, here is an opportunity to be healed. No matter how long it has been, he gave us the power to bring the life of Jesus to as many. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact with your chest and you can stand in for someone, your spouse, your children. I'm seeing someone lifting photos there. You can stand in for someone. For you are glorious and worthy to be praised. You are the Lamb. Help them. Please keep your hands. You are great. Don't sing. You do miracles so great. There is no one else. Ah, the healing power of Jesus is moving across this place. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else. I'm about to pray. A lady is going to shout a loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Immediately after that shout, the healing power of God will begin to move. Father, in the name of Jesus, every spirit of infirmity, every devil of darkness masquerading itself as a medical condition. The Bible declares that he went about healing all day that were oppressed. I command that spirit to let you go now. And now in the name of Jesus, I bring you life, life to your body. Peptic ulcer be healed now. Bone conditions be healed now. There is a lady here, I'm seeing you have an issue of blood. You don't have to come out, literally. An issue of blood. This is, this is a draining, embarrassing situation. In the name of Jesus, wherever you are, I command that demonic thing to stop now. There's someone, you have a problem with your heart. You cannot lie down on this side of your chest to the bed. You are going to have excruciating pain. In the name of Jesus, I declare healing for you now. Asthma, be healed now. Total blindness, partial blindness, be healed now. There's someone you're having severe pain just at the, the, your back, the lumbar area. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. There's a woman, your right breast, you've been having severe pain and you've been afraid to go to the hospital because you are hoping it does not become anything that, you know, something funny, you don't want to hear any reports, but you've been having very severe pain. I don't care what the situation is. In the name of he who died and rose from the dead, let that pain leave you now. I'm seeing, I don't know if he's a gentleman now or a lady, you have a very embarrassing skin condition. This is something, I don't know, it's, it's like, it looks like eczema, 
but it's not eczema you've been trying to treat it right now the power of God is coming upon you I declare be healed now be healed now there is a man here you have a medical condition that is common to men in the name of Jesus I am praying for you the Lord gives you a miracle right now there is a lady whose hair falls you know just like a cancer patient you are losing your hair and you are it's even beginning to surprise you you've discussed this with your mother this is what I'm seeing by the power that raised Christ from the dead your healing comes right now now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus the son of the living God be healed now hallelujah now I, I, I listen carefully listen carefully I want to charge you by the Spirit of God that you take the time to listen to this teaching again even including the prayer and pray it for yourself and for your loved ones and you will marvel and wonder at what God does to your life would you spare me a minute to speak favor over your life? Mm. I don't know how people live without it. In fact, it is impossible to live without it. The proof of favor is not money. No, money is the proof of value, not favor. The proof of favor is the tripartite coexistence of unusual kindness unusual access and unusual acceptance when these tripartite forces are working in the life of a man you truly carry the favor of God Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty Exodus, I mean Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Verse 17 of the same chapter 2. It says, And the king loved Esther above or more than all the virgins, the women, and she obtained grace. He now set a royal crown. Can I tell you the truth? There is truly a grace for favor. That it, when the grace for favor comes upon you, it is only a blind man that cannot bless you. But for as long as a person looks at you, they are compelled by God to express unusual kindness, unusual acceptance, unusual access. I release my faith with our father and pastor here to speak over someone. Maybe it's been a wilderness for you. You've been trusting God to come out of shame and reproach. In the name of Jesus, the one who gave gifts to men, from the depth of my heart I speak. Carry this grace for favor. Carry this grace for favor. Favor in your business. Favor in your family. Favor in your career. Favor in your church. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it begin to work for you. And for all of you who are out here, I stretch my hands. I've prayed for you and I declare, you will return with testimonies to the glory of the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you. My conscience will not allow me if I go without doing this. Please, my apologies. I want to make an altar call. Please, let's minimize movement. I believe in Jesus. I will not sleep sound if I walk away from this place without giving someone an opportunity. In every meeting, even in a conference like this, there will always be someone who is ready to win that war, who is ready to make a decision for Jesus. Listen very carefully. The matter of Jesus is not the matter of church and Christianity and religion. No. Jesus came to give us life. There are two groups of people I'm going to call very quickly. Our time is gone. Number one, those who are saying apostle, 
fountain of life if you will give me an opportunity i truly want to make it right with jesus i do not want to die in my sin i want my soul saved number two those who are saying i remember making this call but for some reason my life has gone haywire and i cannot truly say i have a functional relationship with this jesus i told you in order of priority the first and the noblest encounter that any man can have in this side of god's kingdom is an encounter with jesus the son of the living god the bible says neither is there salvation in any for there is none other name given unto men by which we must be saved i will count one to five we have just a minute for this wherever you are i want you to be bold i want you to be serious i want you to be sincere to leave your seat and come and stand right here i count one to five don't wait for anybody to be the first this is between you and the lord jesus there is one person who must come out here i begin my counting now one come run to jesus I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour. Don't kneel, please stand for space. Come bless me now, my Savior. I come. Three, if you're coming, run. I need thee, oh, I need thee, every hour. I need thee, come bless me. Be now my Savior. I thank you and I salute you for your courage. Jesus said, if you reject me before men, I will reject you. I will deny you before my father. May I please request for those who are making this call online. Maybe you are following online or watching by way of a rebroadcast. Here's an opportunity to make Jesus Lord of your life. And for those of you who are in front here, may I please request that you lift your right hand high above your head as a sign of surrender. And please say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, tonight I have heard your word. I love you with all my heart. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i am a child of god amen father thank you for this once i pray in the name of jesus by the authority of scripture that their sins are forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god and I declare that from tonight until forever, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and you walk in victory to the glory of the name of the Lord. Amen and amen. May I please request that you just move straight. There's someone waving his hands, all of you in concert. Let's honor them as they go. God bless you. Fountain of life, thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much, sir. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Ah. Don't go yet. Honestly, if anybody is in doubt that God is behind this conference, I'm sure it is to, that doubt is erased. Come on. I'm not hearing nothing from here. It's my first time sitting directly listening to me. I watch him on there. Wait, wait, wait. One more thing I want to say, or two more things. If you've been here for a long time, typically, this was our services. But sometime, we started to lose it. Let's say the truth. I knew the will of God, but I was respecting men. I didn't want to hurt men. And the greatest losses of my life has happened. He said the truth. And honestly, I have taken it all back. In the name of Jesus. And honestly, I want to say again, thank God for great leaders of the body. But the next leaders are emerging, man. I appreciate apostles, sermon, 
Joshua, more grace, more anointing. I mean outstanding boldness in the name of Jesus. God bless you, sir. Thank you very much. MC. We are going to bring him again and again and again and again and again and again and again. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.